sick. What's up, everybody? It's me, your homie Kevin. And Kate. And Kate. Coming back at you guys on, coming back at you guys, coming back to you guys on a Saturday upload. Man, how's everybody's New Year's out there been, huh? Mine's been good. Yeah, ours was pretty good, huh? Went out here, hung out with some friends. Yeah. Nice sized group of us hanging out, chilling, lots of food. Uh, went out here and lit off some big fireworks, too, huh? Those are huge, huh? Super yeah. loud. Nobody in the neighborhood cared. I mean, everybody was doing it. Um, we stayed until about like 11. And after that, it was pretty late. Came back. So I ended up working that uh, Thursday. So I ended up coming back early, 11 o'clock. Got here. Go home about 11.30 and crashed. When I knew when it was midnight because just pop, 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 pop. Fireworks going off like crazy. Then about like, I don't know, 15 minutes after that. Yeah, the SWAT, yeah, SWAT truck drove by our house. Boom. It's like, oh man, <laughs> it's getting super crazy tonight. Yeah, so, anyways, everybody, um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this week pretty simple. I've been talking a lot about building Cade's bike, and as you guys notice, it's not there because it's down there. So, I went on ahead and got started on it. But as always, you know what? I don't cut any corners. I mean, I do cut corners. It's my bike project. But what I meant to say was um, the way I do them is I want to show you guys. So that way, for those of you that's also trying to build a bike, because I've gotten plenty of comments on how I do this and the paint that I use. And I have no problem sharing. No problem. You know what? The Lowrider bike scene, I'd love to keep alive. And <laughs> I have no problem sharing exactly how I do it. And you know what? It's not an easy way to do it, but yet it's a big time budget saver because like myself, I don't own a welder. So I use the rivets. Rivets is a good trick. I mean, I've gotten plenty of comments saying that's pretty awesome and pretty neat of an idea to do. And a lot of people going ahead and tried that out, which is awesome. You know, I really do appreciate that. That's what's up. Pretty dope, the dope, dope. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and uh, show you guys this step project on this uh, bike here. So hopefully next week I can go on ahead and have this thing painted because guess what else I bought? As always, Rust-Oleum, homies. I never... Yep. I always show you guys what cans I use. Like I said, I, I also don't have a spray gun neither. So I don't own a welder. So I use rivets to get the bike frames in. And that looks pretty darn good, huh? Still haven't done anything with that chrome bike back there yet. It's been super busy. But... Got these going. So you know what? Should we show them this bike project then? We'll show them step by step on your idea that you had. Uh huh. Full show. All right, everybody. Let me know what you think about this uh, bike project. See ya. Yep. All right, homies. Well, that's what my son picked out right there. So let's go on ahead and put this right there. A little empty void. Just keep in mind, my homies, that I'm an amateur lowrider bike builder. So there might be easier ways to do this, whichever, but this is just the way I'm going to do it. Eh? Eh? I'm going to use this as a template. All right. Went on ahead and cut this out. I traced it, kind of put it in there, got it to size. Booyah. Now let's draw the character on here. So I end up cutting it out right and I get myself a little grid so I know exactly where the center mark is. That's my center point. This line right here is my seat post so that way I can have something I can connect this to whenever I draw this in here. I made two just for, just in case I messed the first one up. So I was going to try and freehand draw it. But I was like, all I have is this crappy, my little construction pencil, no eraser. So like, screw it. So I quickly whipped out a paper real fast. Did a quick couple of sketches. There it is right there. Well, homies, I cut it out, but it's too flimsy, too thin. So I went on ahead and got a piece of another, another box. So I traced it, cut it out. Check this out, homies. See, this is going to go right in there. How dope is that? I'm going to go on ahead and slide this over. I'm going to try to get that like right there that way I can see the eyes all the way through and the mouth all the way through and I might just fill just the outside edges in 
but leave the whole inside hollow that way there's still light that shines through there i can see the mouth yeah my son really loves this guy's music marshmallow it's not bad i like him i like the beats i like the bass yeah that's pretty good that's one of his logos there cool well let's go on ahead and get some sheet metal laid out right Oh show. Yo, homies. So everything I usually do, I, I'm trying to show it step by step so that way I don't skip this out. This is kind of hard to cut out. I got the sheet metal. So I got this guy here, right? Laid it on the sheet metal and I traced it out. And that's what I got on that one so far. But this is kind of hard only because I don't have my greens. All I have is my reds here with me. So that's where I'm at right now. And I got this laying on my lap. That's your little board right where my stomach's at. I mean, that's some pretty sharp metal. You don't want to cut yourself. So keep in mind, y'all. Safety first. All right, for sure, homies. Yes, sir, homies. Got the first one cut out. Let's check this out real quick. All these steps that I'm doing and showing you right now, I'm doing it all in one shot. It's all in the morning time, so... Hold on real quick, yo. Yes, sir, homies. Got the little tool bag out. You know what that means. Check it out, homies. This wheel is already all off and loose, but I need it as a guide to I know exactly where I need to put my stuff. But... So everything right there, I try to take everything off real clean and simple. Left that whole uh, extra, uh, what do you call it, like a continental kit, the extra fifth wheel. The seat pose, the sissy bar, all that, left that together. All this right here came off in one shot. Check that out, homies. This is all off in one shot. Pretty good, huh? Got everything off and then the little logo, the badge fell off. Since I've done many bikes now, now I know how to take a chain apart. Remember the first time I did this bike, I didn't know how to take the chain apart. So I got the little key inside of there. Got the gangster mufflers hooked up. All right here we are right here. But unfortunately, homies, um, I'll get to this here in a second. But check this out. There it is. I just need to cut out the eyes and the mouth. This was my son's idea. Put that in there like that. If you guys look up this character named Marshmallow, that's one of his uh, logos. Oh yeah, it's gonna look sicker than sick. There's my template. There's the other one right there. See the peel the back off. Get the eyes and mouth cut out, homies. Bo show yo. See you in the next clip. All right, homies. New game plan. Um, we're not going to go ahead and cut these uh, eyes and mouth out. We're just going to leave it as is. I was thinking about it with this being as small as it is. And I'm going to have another one. This guy here on the opposite side. It's going to be hard for me to get uh, these perfectly all the way through. Especially I'm going to spray foam the center. You know how I've always done these with the sheet metal. Then I spray foam the insides. So I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'm just going to tape off the eyes and mouth. Tell you what, that's exactly where I'm going to have it. Looks pretty dope so far, huh? I already had and checked the clearance on here. Focus. I already checked the clearance on this guy here for the screw that's going to hold the fender brace. Or fender brace, excuse me. Um, chain guard. Plenty of clearance in there. That chain guard's only like maybe 3 8 long to screw. So it'll fit in there nice and perfect. Go on ahead and do some touch-ups in here. On uh, the last little clip you guys just saw, I thought I was going to have to leave the whole sprocket on there, all of that. But I was actually turning something, just tightening it the other direction. I was like, oh man, this ain't coming out. Goofy. So I ended up turning it the other direction. <laughs> so I got everything out now. Everything's good to go. I wiped all of this stuff off. That way all the grease or chips and anything doesn't collect to this grease so that I can blast it all again. Well, I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and get set up real quick. 
All right, homies, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is my final place where I'm going to have it rest at. I'm going to have this area stick out a little bit out the bottom here. That's going to stick out in the bottom. This is going to stick out a little bit. I don't want to put it too far back and be too close to that uh, fender brace back there. Also, I want clearance between that screw in here. I want a nice gap so you can see through it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call that good right there. Let's get started, homies. Check it out, homies. Let's go ahead and put this back in there. Line that back up. Already got my rivet inside of it. Put this through there. Just line this up. Call that good right there. One. All right, cool. Go ahead and sink that right there. Let's sink another one right here. Ready? Let's do it. I'm glad everyone watches my videos. You know what? I've got plenty of comments on people asking how I've done the sheet metal. If they're going to use the sheet metal trick idea, especially with the rivets. No one's ever seen it done with rivets. It's a big, big time time saver. Um, I wonder if I should do that. You know what I'm going to. Sink one right here. Nice. There it is, homies. Metal shavings off right there. Cool. Gosh, that paint job's awesome looking, huh? All spray cans. There it is. She's locked into place. Cool. Well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get the other side done. I don't need to record that to show you guys. It's going to be the exact same step. On the other side, I'm going to do the exact same spots as the rivets. Also, what I'm going to need to do, check this out. Look how long that seat post is. I'm going to have to measure the seat post. Whenever I put the seat post in here, I got rivets on both sides. So I need to measure that seat post down about right here above it and chop off the extra. But that'll be after this bike's all painted and done. All right. Cool, homies. How was those easy, cool, simple steps? Cool. Yep. What do you think of the bike frame, my son? Awesome. You freaking like it, huh? Mm -hmm. I do, too. Check it out, homies. Went on ahead and put the other side in. Looks good, huh? Mm-hmm. Let me turn this around, son. Oops, sorry. And just hold the front. There we go. Scoop. Scoot your arm back. Yep, right there. Perfect. Cool. Well, yeah, got it into place. As always, every bike I've done, or we have done, it's all sheet metal in there. Guys, everything turns out nice, huh? That looks pretty pretty good. Yeah. And this here, I'll probably end up touching up again. I mean, it's going to get scratched and scuffed up again from the boats. Like I said, whenever we build these, they're not show bikes. We literally cruise these mofos around, huh? Mm -hmm. Man, my son's bike's going to be, like, super heavy. <laughs> cool. Well, um, I'll go ahead and uh, get some spray foam and spray foam the inside of this thing here. Get a block, wood piece of wood block cut just to put it in there, space these apart even like that. Bam. Call that good. All right, so homies, well, next week when you guys see this, should be a little bit more different than what it is now. Yep. All right, for sure, homies. Well, as always, you know it's a brand new year. Let's uh, Let's continue moving forward. Let's get through this bulls. 
pandemic and let's all stay 100. For sure, everybody. Stay safe out there. Peace. Yep. That is freaking dope, huh? Yeah. I like it. Cool. All right, everybody. Peace.